operation of a picket fence lab is done with a sheet of plastic or picket fence that has evenly spaced black bands at three centimeter intervals. Hold the sheet of plastic by its edges so that you don't leave fingerprints on it. Hold it above the photo gate, drop it, and the data has been collected. That's it. Looking at the computer screen, focus at the top of your computer screen when in the Data Studio program. Look at the Start button, which is next to the stopwatch or timer. There should be a green triangle. If this green triangle is not illuminated, you need to check your connections again. In order to see that your photo gate is functioning properly, follow the cord from the photo gate back to the power link. The power link has a photo gate port. There should be a green light, irregardless of whether if you've plugged into port 1, 2, or 3. You're going to follow the cord back to your computer and see that the USB cord is plugged into your computer securely. Coming back to the photo gate, the way to test this is there's a red light on the side. Run your hand between the photo gate. That red light should come on and off. This tells you that all of your equipment is functioning properly. I've started the timer in Data Studio. The next thing that I'm going to do is have my lab partner hold the picket fence above the photo gate. Each lab station has a box with a carpeting scrap in the box. This box has been placed conveniently beneath the arms of the photo gate. This is to catch the picket fence when it falls into the box. At the bottom of each page in Data Studio, there is a gray triangle. This gray triangle is the way to navigate to the next page. Put your cursor in that triangle and click. There are two ways within Data Studio to remove data. You can either go up to Experiment, Delete Last Data Run. I generally do not use Delete All Data Runs. I will use Delete Last Data Run. Or the other option is to go up to Summary, highlight whichever run you'd like to remove, press the Delete key, Data Studio will then ask you if you'd like to remove this data. Click OK. Run number one is now gone. I can do the same thing with run number two, whether I click under position, velocity, or acceleration. Let's say I want to remove run number two. Click delete on the computer. Again, Data Studio is going to open up and ask me to say OK. The only thing I have left is run number three. Data Studio has several buttons up in the navbar section. To find out what each is, simply wave over the button. If you get the cursor close enough, each of the buttons will be identified. For example, I've waved over Fit, and it says Adds, Slash, Removes, Curve Fits. Over here, this is called the Smart Tool. The Smart Tool will help me find the slope of a line. Click on Smart Tool you'll get a box that is much like the scope on a, on a gun. Pull up the corners. This tells me my change in the Y direction, 0.78. My change in the X direction, 0 You can also move title boxes if they're in the way of your information or your data. As soon as I have the hand icon, I can move this box to a different location, thereby allowing me to see my data more easily.
The easiest way to clear the screen when using the Smart Tool is to simply press the button again. The crosshairs are then removed from the graph. When in the Summary section of Data Studio, you can also rename the runs. Click on a particular run, you're going to have a screen open up which is going to allow you to backspace. I can call this best run. I'm going to select OK. Data Studio is going to ask me if I'd like to rename it. Indeed I would. When I look over here in the summary section, it has been renamed. Tips and tricks for using Data Studio. If your graph is postage stamp sized or really teeny tiny, you can expand the graph by waving your cursor near the axis. Keep waving the cursor until you get not the hand, the hand is used to move the graph. Instead you want squiggly lines that look like an arrow. When you get the squiggly lines with an arrowhead on each side, pull on the numbers. You can do this on both the X and the Y axis. As you do so, your graph is expanded so that it will take up the entire page. You can move the headings if they happen to be in the way. turn from page 3 to page 4 in Data Studio, I note that I no longer have a graph. There is no data. At least there's no data that's visible. Here's how I find it. Go up to the summary bar at the top of your graph. While in that nav setting or nav bar location, take run 1, 2, or 3 whichever you've just completed. Highlight and draw this over to your graph. As you drop and drag, I suddenly have data that has appeared. Analyze your data. The sheet of black plastic is simply dropped between Data Studio has numerous buttons in the nav bar. The best way to find out what they do is to experiment with each. If you get close enough by waving over them, Once in position, drop the photo gate. You should also see that both connections on the back of the power link are securely fashioned. If you I've started the timer in Data Studio. The next thing that I'm going to do is hold my photo gate hold my picket fence 